Friends, the biggest UN conference on climate change, COP26, is about to begin in Glasgow. The question many climate activists and the young people ask us today are, do you feel that our house is on fire? Are you seriously worried about the climate change and its impact on the poor and the vulnerable and the entire creation? Friends, as Jesuits and Ignatian family members, we have been accompanying the people at the periphery, raising their voices before people and building bridges for, of those who are making decisions and their voices. Some of us will be there in Glasgow to echo the voices of the people, the cry of the poor and the cry of the earth before the leaders. But our cry is not without hope. We believe that we can still save the planet Earth if and only if we act together. We know that the shifting weather conditions, rising sea levels and extreme weather conditions disproportionately affect the poor and the vulnerable. But remember that it is not about those at the periphery. Today the calamity is at our doorsteps. Remember the flood in Germany, Belgium, Netherlands in July and also the recent flood in South Italy last week, the earthquake in Haiti. And can, do we remember the increasing number of hurricanes and flash floods in US in the recent years? Friends, COP26 has come at a right moment for all of us to say that we cannot be silent spectators. It is a moment of crisis and so it is an opportunity for all of us to respond. Let us come together, not with a sense of fate or anger, but with the genuine love and hope that we can rebuild this planet. Let us make COP26 a gift to ourselves, an opportunity for our joint mission. It's no more about making statements and commitments or making promises and feeling good about it. COP26 must be about implementing the already made commitments in Paris or in other forums. It's about conversion. Let us humbly acknowledge that we have sinned against this planet. Let us stop pointing fingers at one another for the climate change, but take responsibility as human beings together. It is about all of us, about the entire world, where we as human beings are only one among the many creations of God. We need action, genuine action, serious action at all levels, Friends, let's make COP26 an opportunity to act.